Tilt Brush. And today we're going to focus on the Quick Tools menu. Now this is a nice little menu that comes up for anybody using Tilt Brush, any of the headsets, any of the styles. And it's just an easier way to get to the common tools without having to flip through your palette every time you want to just grab an eraser, that type of thing. Now with the Vive, uh, the HTC Vive Wands, we have above the trackpad a little me a button that normally brings up the menu inside of a game. If I hold that button down, you can see it brings up this little display in my view. Oculus users, on your trackpad next to it with the two buttons, the button labeled B is the one that will bring up the same menu. Now it only appears as long as you're holding the button down. The moment you let go, that little menu disappears. It will actually work with both hands, depending on what you can see. I can't, oops, can't really see it here. But I'm going to stick with this one because there are fewer pieces to interfere. Now that Quick Tools menu, it's made up of six different tools. These are the most common tools people use. And the center one is to reset you back to your paintbrush. So I've got my black splatter brush. Let's make it a little more interesting. Let's make it a bright blue splatter brush. If I switch to any of these other tools, like the dropper tool or something like that, that will take me back to whatever brush I had. So if I now switch to something completely different, there's some bright orange stars. Using the quick tools, I can access any of these. Maybe the eraser to get rid of him. Get rid of him. Quick tools, back, oops, back to the brush. So these quick tools let you swap back and forth. I'm going to get some of these pieces back. Quick tools, dropper. This brings up the standard dropper tool. So now I can grab the blue strip. And then I can switch to something completely different and use the dropper, work with me here, to grab the stars again. Yes, that's a star. Stars again. That type of thing. So quick tools menu. Eraser and dropper are just grabbing those standard tools rather than finding it in our utilities over here. Quick tools. Recolor is the same thing. So now that I'm in orange, I can recolor this orange and recolor that orange. And rainbows don't really recolor orange, but you can see what we're getting at. Quickly swap to the recolor tool. Back to my brush and I'm back to the stars or whichever brush you were happen to use. Quick tools. Part of it is I keep accidentally gripping while I'm trying to bend over here to demonstrate. So quick tools. Uh, brush, eraser, dropper, recolor, selection tool. Just the basic selection tool. Not the select all, not those types of variations, but just the standard selection tool so I can grab pieces, move them around, resize them, make them really big, that type of thing. Standard selection tool, and now I can use this to go back to the brush. Now I'm back to the brush painting my stars again. Or I can switch to the dropper so I can grab the rainbow, and now I'm back in the rainbow mode. So quick tools menu for just getting quickly to different tools you use the most. Now this last tool at the bottom is called pin. Pin is useful for locking something in place. Let me clear these guys out for a moment. I'm going to switch to my eraser and get rid of these guys. And start again. If I bring up a guide, for example, my lovely sphere here, we can see how we can move this sphere around, resize it. And if I'm painting, switch to a normal paint here, having too much fun with the exotic paints. If I'm painting on it, you can see how I'm sticking to the sphere. But it's still easy to accidentally grab that sphere and move it. And now it's really hard to get it back into the exact same place that's really not exactly the same place. It doesn't quite line up. This pin allows you to lock something in place so it cannot be moved. So now that I've got the sphere where I want it, let's get it right here, I'm going to use my quick tools to get a pin. Now my pin is attached to my cursor. If I touch him and click, you can see a giant pin stuck out of it to let you know it's in place. Now I go back to my brush, paint on it, 
And no matter how clumsy I am, I can't accidentally move this sphere. The pin won't let me. If I go back to my pin tool, the thumb pad switches you to remove pins. And now the pin is gone. Now I can grab this and move it around. Thumb pad back to add a pin. Stick it in. Now this thing cannot move around. So the pin tool. It's also for using if you start getting things like pictures in place, other pieces you want to play with. As you can see, I can move this around. So I can use my pin tool to lock it in place. So it's part of the scene, but I can't accidentally grab it and move it or erase it or change it in any state. The pin tool, and that's part of our menus. Pin tool. Quick menu. On the Vive, it's our top thumb trigger menu button. On the Oculus, it's the B button. On the Index, I'm honestly not sure, so we'd like to try to get one. Feel free to contribute generously to our Patreon so that we can get the different devices and actually show you using the devices in question. But that's our use of the Quick Tools menu today. It's that but top button for the quick, most common tools. It's often a lot faster than trying to page through your menus to find the tool that you're looking for. Especially if we're just using quickly, trying to rip through a certain series of pieces. Speed painting uses these quick tools a lot just to grab the tools you need. I hope this helps. It's something to practice with. We will be using these pins in a later lesson, especially as we start bringing in the pictures and things like that. We'll be showing those in a more detailed thing. But for now, try out those quick tools menus and see which ones you end up using the most. Have fun in Tilt Brush. Let us know if there's any questions you've got or if anything happens while you're using it in the comments below. We do like to have a good conversation going. It also lets us know what types of things you would like to learn about. Tell your friends, share it with everybody, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Have fun.